All right, so both the chapter 64 will be dropping in a few days, and I just wanted to give my early thoughts on the Jogon actually debuting in that chapter. I think it's highly possible, but I just wanted to get some things across and some things I'm discuss some things that I'm a little bit confused about because one thing we know that is Boto will get a scar on his right eye, and that's the same eye that Jogon is in. Right, we've seen the Jogon before in the anime. We haven't seen him use it in the manga, so it's technically not canon to the manga as yet. I think the Jogon has been name dropped though, probably when we saw the Otsutsuki King or the Otsutsuki God. I don't remember clearly, but I don't think the Jogon itself is canon to Boruto in the manga, so it's canon to Boruto in the anime. So, but we can assume that it will be canon in the manga because they don't. I don't think they'll they'll create an anime only. I don't think that's possible or. <laughs> That's even like something they would think of doing. Like it doesn't really make sense. Why would your main character have an anime only dojutsu? You know, it doesn't make sense. So he will get it in the manga. We just have to wait and see when. But this chapter is probably the best chapter to actually debut it in. Maybe he doesn't get full control over it that he can turn it on and off. But maybe this is when other people notice this power because we haven't seen anybody outside of Momoshiki that actually knew about this ability. Boruto did kind of bring it to Naruto's attention back when he was in the academy, but he referred to it as the Byakugan. And Naruto was like, you don't have the Byakugan. Naruto didn't believe him because at that time, Boruto was kind of bratty, was kind of a child that really lacked attention and yearned for attention. So he'd like do things and say things to get attention. So Naruto just dismissed him and dismissed it as him just wanting attention. But Boruto did actually use the drug and it does have the capabilities of the Byakugan. So Boruto could mix it up. He's not an expert in the dojutsu, so he could mix it up and say, oh, I have the Byakugan when he didn't he had the Jogan and he doesn't know what the Jogan is no one does so it's kind of fair for him to say it's a Byakugan that's basically what I'm saying but in this chapter um, it's kind of likely that it will debut but I have a serious problem with it debuting in this chapter and just overall with the power itself and the fact that he has a scar. Now based on what we know from Naruto the original series when a character gets slashed in the eye the eye below it actually gets destroyed you know we saw it with Takashi and we saw it with our other characters as well like when you slash their eyes like go straight up and basically what we saw with Boruto in the post time skip timeline he still has a scar which shows that it was a deep cut it wasn't just a, a top layer flesh wound that would heal you know it was a very deep cut and it's really separated and you can see it's similar to what Kakashi had so if is if that happened to his eye why is it that his eyeball is still there you know that's really confusing because as we know Kakashi's eyeball was destroyed so why does Boruto still have the eye even though he has the slash you know it doesn't make sense to me like the only way Boruto should still have an eye is if he got an eye transplant you know unless his eye grew back he has this insane level of regeneration that his Jogar just grew back you know that would be insane but you know he did fix his bone after Ishiki broke it that's a bone in his arm he did fix his spine so maybe maybe Momoshiki has the ability to like regenerate organs and that's what happened but would it regenerate as the Jogar though because as we saw with Kakashi when Naruto regenerated his eye it didn't turn into Obito's Sharingan he just grew a normal eye but again it, it, it's different because remember the eye that was in Kakashi's eye socket wasn't his so the Sharingan didn't birth from his genes so it could be a case where because Borta has the genes that awakened the Jogan when um, his eye was restored or healed or he got an eye transplant, the Jogan just reappeared in that eye because technically the power is within his body, not the eye socket. And it's a little bit confusing because you can say that, but if you go back to the Naruto series, people tend to transplant the eyeball itself and gain the powers of the character. But at the same time, the characters that are gaining these powers still retain their abilities. And the reason why I say this is because we have the eternal Mangekyo situation where Sasuke went blind. Like he took out his eye socket and implanted um, Itachi's eyeballs. I mean, took out his eyeballs and implanted Itachi's eyeballs. But he still had his Sharingan and it merged with Ishak Itachi's Sharingan which created the EMS. And if you look at the design, it's still that Sasuke's design with Itachi's design within it. And he still had his abilities on top of Itachi's abilities. So the powers in that case didn't lie in Sasuke's eyeballs because they're no longer in his eye socket. The power itself was in his blood. 
So when he implanted Itachi's eyes, it's like his Mangekyo just appeared in Itachi's eye sockets anyway without his eyeballs. So it's a confusing message. Does the power really lie within the eyeballs themselves or within the genes of the character? You know, if you get what I'm saying. So maybe it does rely in the genes. Maybe it doesn't lie maybe it does lie in the genes is what I'm saying. But if that's the case, why did Mardara need to like get his renegons back why didn't he just get a regular eye and then unlock a renegon in that regular eye you know that's what i'm saying it's confusing so it, it just works in different cases. maybe the eternal mangekyo situation is just some bin benign situation that's different from everything else where you don't really need the eyeball it's just you just need the genes because they're brothers or whatever you know some stupid shit like that but yeah um that's just the argument i wanted to make on why i think boruto would or wouldn't get the eye and you know and there isn't any conclusive argument those are just my thoughts or two ways i think it contradicts each other you know uh, but we will see uh, as i said like these things we're just theorizing here I'm not saying that they will never have an explanation they might have one they might not have one because there are a lot of things in the bird series that have not been explained so i'm not going to hold my breath but it's possible that they have an explanation as to why he has his eyes but yeah that's the biggest thing i want to bring across like if he has the slash which means that somebody tried to destroy his right eye why does he still have the drogon in the future you know obviously it wasn't destroyed or if it was destroyed he re regenerated the eye and the drogon came back so we just have to wait and see on that but yeah this chapter is shaping up to be a good one boruto has this version to karma everybody is saying that it's the strongest form in all of naruto already and we haven't even seen the form fight you know but my thoughts on the form itself is it could be a case where because we saw the last time boroshiki came out boruto kind of broke the horn the horn that was out and we saw that momoshiki was visibly like he was really like afraid of boruto doing that and i was wondering why like why are you so afraid of boruto breaking your artificial horn that was going on out of his head maybe it's a part of the progression maybe it's a part of how he possesses boruto and it has to regrow again before he can like take control of Boruto's body so Boruto can still go like Boroshiki like version 2 karma that's what we're gonna call it but he will be in control because Boruto broke the horn and the horn is really what allows Momoshiki to take control you know maybe that's what happened that's why Momoshiki was so visibly afraid of Boruto breaking the horn you know so yeah that's really interesting I, I don't think it will be Mm, it's it might be a little bit more powerful than Boroshiki. I don't know because I think Boroshiki would be more capable of using his powers. But again, it's Boruto's body. Maybe he's more capable of using his powers, you know, and maybe taking advantage of Boroshiki's hacks abilities or just his enhanced body and reflexes, you know. So we'll just have to wait and see. But I'm not definitely certain that it's an increase in power. It just could mean that he he just has control in this state. You know, that's what it could mean. But yeah, we'll just have to wait and see with that one. Um, but yeah, that's just all I had to say. Like, the I will the Jogan debut. It will be a good thing for the time skip. Um, with the Jogan debuting in this chapter, it could be a case where we get a time skip in like two to three chapters, or maybe next chapter. It's possible. I can't think, forget the time when we were at the um, the Jigen arc. We were still at the Ishiki arc, and everybody was talking about oh, like the chapter we're we're getting time skipping like two chapters. I think we were at like two chapter 54 everyone's saying like oh in two chapters we're getting time skipping like chapter 56 and we're moving forward and then kishimoto came in and boom like we're still at pre time skip so yeah <laughs> we don't know what will happen we never know what will happen and it's it's kind of like they took a different direction because i can see why everyone said that the time skip was going to come up like next chapter or next two chapters because it, it kind of felt like it, you know but then kishimoto came in and everything kind of slowed down a bit he kind of took his time with the story i honestly don't have a problem with it necessarily but i do think boruto would benefit from moving into the time skip sooner rather than later you know kind of get rid of this fluff this child stuff move into the shippuden era where we get some serious things happening people dying and you know yeah that kind of stuff that's what people want to see so yeah we just have to wait and see but that's just my thoughts on this let me know what you guys think in the comments do you think that boruto can just regenerate the jogan if he loses it and um yeah or do you think he'll lose it like at all but i think he will probably but that's just my thoughts let me know what you think and uh, drop a like if you like the video and subscribe if you're new and i'll see you guys next time peace <laughs>